Now to continuing coverage tonight of safety concerns along Gulf Boulevard as spring breakers flocked to the area. Just hours ago, St. Pete Beach neighbors heard from transportation leaders and shared their concerns. Members of Ford Pinellas shared ways they hope to prevent crashes on the busy stretch of road. And tonight, after hours at that meeting, 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio explains those plans and how neighbors are responding. The road to safety remains bumpy in St. Pete Beach. They fly through here. Congestion and crashes plaguing drivers, pedestrians and bicyclists on Gulf Boulevard. A tourist hub to James Bailey, though. I hear a lot of people are wanting to move out. It's home, but feeling further from it because of development and traffic. Families won't be able to afford it anymore. It's going to be just wall to wall people. He says he's been rear ended before and recently came upon a fatal crash. To curb concerns, Forward Pinellas presented its safety study and heard from neighbors. This is a great step forward. The study looked deep into struggles on Gulf Boulevard from the Pinellas Bayway to 75th Avenue. For instance, lack of bike and pedestrian crossings, slim sidewalks, and where congestion and crashes are most common. And a lot of the data was pointing towards this segment, um, and the intersections within this segment had some of the highest crash rates. Forward Pinella saw a number of crashes in recent years, many of which they say were preventable. They're hoping improvements they're studying now will reduce the number of crashes down to zero someday. There were 422 crashes within five years, according to the presentation. Transportation leaders are also exploring adjusting signal times, extending or adding medians and wider sidewalks. Neighbors raised even more concern after approval of the Serrata Resort expansion. People around here used to say, well, I don't want it to be like Clearwater, and it's going to be worse than Clearwater now. Despite what changes, Bailey hopes he doesn't see another crash anytime soon. Got to be a better way. In St. Pete Beach, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. And feedback will be incorporated into the study before it goes in front of St. Pete Beach City Commissioners for approval. Ford Pinellas says the goal is to have that finalized by summer.